Hey everyone, this is Cindy, and I wanted to talk a little bit more about this digital kit I'm going to have for sale on my Etsy shop, Books by Bert. I'm calling it the Anna Green Gables digital kit, even though it you don't have to be uh, really be doing a book about uh, Anna Green Gables in order to use this kit. It comes with 11 pages, and three of them are uh, um, collage sheets that you can um, print out and use as pages in the journals. Or you could, you know, tear them apart and use them for um, decorations and collaging and tags and that sort of thing. And um, if you want to use them and you don't care about the Anna Green Gables part of this, you could cover up things like the author's name there or the A and the two M's that stand for uh, Anne and uh, Matthew and Marilla. And on this page, there isn't really anything specific to the book other than the pages are taken from the book. And uh, the collages are just a combination of papers, music, book, um, scrapbook, and some laces and trims and things like that. So, and a little bit of fabric. That's fabric. That's ribbon. A little bit of stamping. <laughs> so just a little bit of everything. That's why it's a collage. Anyway, um, how I used them in um, this journal that I did was um, I used it as a page in the book. Just as part of the signature. So that's uh, three of the pages you'll get in the collection. And then another thing you'll get is this, uh, what I'm calling the uh, envelope template. And it's, I know you've seen these shaped envelopes quite a bit. And this one I just put it on copy dye paper. Then I added some vintage photo around it just to make it a little darker because I wanted a good contrast between the brown and the white so you'd be able to cut it out with ease. And the idea behind it is you're just going to take a piece of scrapbooking paper or just whatever paper you want to print this on, put the paper in your printer, and then you're going to print the file on the back side of the scrapbook paper so that when you cut this out, uh, you have the copy dyed is the inside of your uh, envelope. And I put, there's some lines, fold lines there, and I just put a ruler up to that line and just fold uh, the paper over the ruler so it's easy to fold it. And, um, of course, you can just use them throughout your um, journal, of course. And then this is not specific to Anna Green Gables at all. This can be used for any journal out there that you want to work on. And in this particular journal, I use those as the uh, center of my signatures. So I'm not sure if you can see down in there or not, but there's the threads from the center of the signature. And I just had it, you know, sewed it into the um, signature this way. And then when I was finished, then I, the strings are here and I just glued it shut then. And that hides the strings. So, okay, the next page you'll get is um, it's just I made some tags for this journal so that well I'll just scan those as well and these two are made from the title page of this book and you know you probably unless you're doing an Anna Green Gables book you wouldn't want to use those unless you just want to cover that words up and then these other ones can just be used for other things don't they're not specific to Anna Green Gables Another page is this uh, one of these large flowers, and these are actual uh, flowers, pictures I took at my house. And my idea with those was Anna, Anne uh, loved uh, where she lived. She loved the scenery, the, the trees, the flowers, the water, the woods, all of that. And I cannot imagine her not going out into her flower beds or her woods or the fields and picking flowers and not bringing them back to her journal to press between the pages. So that was my idea when I was doing this, was that I was pretending like this was Anne's very personal journal and she'd go pick a flower and then she'd bring it back and press it between the pages of her book. So that's what these are for. It's just a fussy cut out and you can decorate your pages with them. Now, it does not uh, have to be an Anna Green Gables journal, of course, to use those. Another page you'll get are these two pot holders. They're vintage pot holders I've scanned. And the reason I put them on the page like this is so that you can fold this page in half and it can become a page in your journal. And that is how I use them here. There's one of them. And... Here's the other. I just used them as pages in my journal. Now, I scaled these down a little smaller than what I used in there so that, you know, it would fit most uh, 
journals, but also they would be really cute cut out as journaling cards or tucks or pockets. And these, again, are not specific to Anna Green Gables. They would work in any vintage journal. Now this page is from is three different things about the book, specifically about the book. One of them, Matthew goes to this store in Carmody, Prince Edward Island, and he tries to buy material for Anna Dress, but instead he ends up buying 20 pounds of brown sugar. So I just made him a, a receipt that he can use, that he would get. And then they grew a lot of apples on the farm, so I just uh, got this picture of the farm basket, I mean the apple basket, from the website Pixel Scrappers. And uh, you can use their items um, for commercial use, and then you can tweak them if you want, you know, that sort of thing. So I added the name of their farm. And um, this third one is just representing a bottle of raspberry cordial that... Um, and she thought she was giving that to her friend Diane, but she ended up giving her something else, and she got drunk, and then the, you know, the mother got mad, and that sort of thing. So anyway, these three things are specific to Anna Green Gables, but they still could be used in other journals. And let me show you how I used them here. On the apple barrel, I just used it as a tuck, and then I just tucked that receipt behind it, and it becomes a journaling card. And the bottle, I made it into a journaling card. I could have trimmed around it a little bit, made it into a tuck, which would have been cute as well. Okay, so that's another page. And on this page, I made a um, tag about the author of this book because you know we're still celebrating this actual book. So I included that. So if you were doing an Green Gables uh, book, you might want to include that. But if you're not, then you probably wouldn't want to use that. Here is a, a lantern, because I wanted a coal, uh, kerosene oil lantern for the journal, because I knew that's probably what they used back then. And here is a dishcloth that my mother embroidered for me years ago. So I scanned that. And this is a wild cherry blossoms that can be used as a tuck. And then this is just a copy. I embroidered that little flower for the journal, and I just went ahead and scanned it and included it. So let me show you how I use these. Um, the lamp I cut out, and I was just going to decorate a page with it, but then I decided to go ahead and just use it as a tuck. So I only glued part of it. Let's see not on this page. I've got these marked so I can find them faster, but I had a whole lot of things marked. Okay, here's where I did use the uh, deal print as a tuck. And let's see if I did the other one. I may not have marked that one. I didn't mark that one. So I either used it as a journaling card or I could have used it as a tuck as well. All right, here's another page that does not have to be just for an Anna Green Gables journal. I was experimenting with scanning doilies and, and um, hankies and things like that and putting them in shapes. So I've got all these. This one is not a doily, but the rest of them are doilies and hankies and just different shapes. So they can either be journaling cards or tucks or pockets or whatever you want them to be. And in this one, let's see. Here's the larger one. I made it into a tuck. And this one I also made into a tuck. Since they're just kind of unusual shapes, I thought they uh, worked better as tucks. Okay. All right, last page is this one, and it has some miscellaneous elements. I did three teacups. These came from the Pixel Scrappers, and I just put them on the back of a, a doily I had scanned. And I figured this could be a belly band or a decoration. And then two more flowers you might include. And then this is just a little picture of a house with some uh, flowers that reminded me of Green Gables. And on this basket also came from Pixel Scrappers, but I added this piece of paper here. This says Sunday School Picnic. It's, I was thinking it kind of looked like a little invitation stuck in there because she got invited to the picnic. And then on this um, 
cover or napkin that's hanging over the basket. I just put her initials AS for Anne Shirley on there. So um, that might be something. Um, that way, that one is specific to the book, but uh, doesn't necessarily have to be. And on this, I created this report for her. Um, she was uh, went to Avonlea School, Prince Edward Island, and she was part of the Queen's class that were studying, basically to get into a high school. And it's got inside pages and the outside pages. And I just printed it out. <clears throat> and there's the inside pages. I cut another one of the inside pages just out of some copy dyed paper. And then here's the cover. And I just rounded the corners with my uh, corner rounder to kind of match these. And uh, just sewed it real quick with some uh, needle and thread. And just made a little uh, booklet for the journal. And I wanted to show you... The basket I just made into a teeny tiny little journaling card and put in this little pocket and here's one of these uh, other tags I showed earlier so that is all of this kit like I said it has 11 pages some of it specific to the book most of it can be used in any single journal that you're working on and it's gonna be for sale in my Etsy shop books by Burke so thank you for watching this bye